Hi everyone, this is Hoodie Angel Brandon here today with the August 8th uh, Super Smash Bros. Direct. Uh, when I reacted to the E3 video, you guys seemed to enjoy that. Uh, also, I did some. I also did a reaction for the Bay Channel that happened in between now and then. Uh, but so uh, since you guys enjoyed that, hopefully you'll continue to enjoy that, and uh, we're going to be reacting to today's direct. Uh, I have no clue what they're going to announce because they already announced what 60, 60 plus characters at E3. Uh, so I guess stages and modes is probably it. Maybe one new character. Uh, but uh, regardless, I'm sure I'll enjoy at least something that they show. Uh, so looking forward to that. Uh, in fact, I didn't even sleep. So uh, after this is done, I might go take a nap. But until then, uh, the direct is starting in like five minutes. I'll see you guys then. Here we go. Let's see, what do we got? Starting with the, with the character, looks like. Oh, Luigi. Oh, it's Egad. Egad confirmed. I actually wouldn't mind Egad. He'd be cool. On that note, New Luigi's Mansion game when? <laughs> oh, it's Medusa from Kid Icarus, obviously. No, I think I know who this is. There were rumors. There's that iconic Luigi's Mansion. Oh my god, they killed Luigi! They killed Mario and Mega Man first in Ridley's trailer, and now they killed Luigi. R.I.P. my boy. There's a- there's a- Yep. There were rumors about Simon. He, people have been speculating him forever. He looks pretty good, though. I wasn't sure how they'd make- a character like him, like, look in Smash Bros. The ones I'm familiar with are the 2D sprites, so. And the Whip Fighter's cool, too. We haven't had one of those. I mean, Sheik had a whip, and Zero Suit Samus kind of has a whip, but. Looks like Dracula's a stage hazard. Oh, is that Richter? Richter? Yeah. D Are we getting a third party Echo, seriously? Or is he an alt costume? An Alucard? Is Alucard an assist? I I'm surprised that Sakurai got Snake, Richter, uh, Simon, and Bomberman. Was oh, my boy Luigi coming back? <laughs> I was gonna say, if, if we if we lost Luigi, there's a space for another tall uh, Mario character, right? Sakurai! What's up? I'm Masahiro Sakurai from Sora Limited. This is a follow-up to our recent announcement about Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Without further ado... The legendary vampire hunter from the Castlevania series, Simon Belmont, is finally joining the roster. He's been given a bit of a makeover. His signature item is, of course, his holy whip, the far-flinging vampire killer. It leaves you open to attack, right. and it's a bit slow, but I think its average reach during normal attacks is longer than any other fighters. He can move the whip freely, Oh no, R.I.P. Pichu. His special attacks are very recognizable. Yep. The axe. I'm not super familiar with Castlevania, though, like I said. Holy water. 
and uppercut. While they may seem simple, they are very powerful. And his final smash is called Grand Cross. Dracula's Castle, yeah. Simon's stage is none other than Dracula's Castle. It's the darkest of stages in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Looks cool. When an attack hits one of the candlesticks, an item will appear. In this stage, bosses from across the Castlevania series will rear their ugly heads. They make Dracula's castle feel true to the world from whence they came. Man, he got like all this stuff in here. That... It's like Midgar levels of like just all these different like things from the game in here. And when speaking of Castlevania, you can't forget to mention the music. For this stage, 34? 34 music tracks, including new and Eat your heart out, Midgar! Castlevania series is very popular among our music Jesus! 34? Once in a blue moon, Simon's mortal rival will appear. A miserable little pile of secrets! Dracula. Reborn every 100 years, he is eternally fated to wage war against descendants of the Belmont clan. How much did you have to pay Konami for all this? Under what conditions will he appear? Time will tell. Now, for a brand new assistant. Alucard, yep. Alucard, son of Dracula, will lend his steel in battle. He wields the chrysogram, transforms into a bat, and dodges attacks by assuming mist form. He's very Man, this music is all, it's already sounding good. Symphony of the Night. This is the... Like other assist trophies, he's susceptible to attack and KO as well. Nevertheless, so I've, I've watched Let's Play, a Let's Play of uh, Symphony of the Night. And yeah, it looks like... Yeah, Richter's a whole fighter, it looks like. See an echo? The vampire hunter who starred in classics like Castlevania Rondo of Blood, Richter Belmont, joins the battle. Yeah, Echo Fighter. Richter is an Echo Fighter based on Simon. Though his strength is the same, his look, voice, and animation... So I guess the up. gate's open for third-party Echo Fighters, too. This so time, Shadow is Ultimate looking a lot like... More likely, a lot of people have speculated him. In his original games, so it's hard to say who's really echoing who. I hope you'll enjoy them both. Man, I'm, I don't have money for all these Amiibo off like these Echo... Yeah, <laughs> two whole new Echo Fighters?! Four fighters in this direct, and we're five minutes in? Who have we got? Oh, a Fire Emblem Echo? It's, is that Krom? It's my boy Krom! I, I meme voted him in the first, in the ballot. I did this. I, I It's my fault. Blame me. I'm the reason there's another Fire Emblem character. I did it as a joke vote because I didn't know who to vote for, and then later I got Splatoon and I was like, oh, I like Inklings, I'm gonna vote for Inklings, but my original vote was for Krom, just like a, I didn't know who to vote for. That's cool though, I, I like Krom. I, I'm suddenly glad that I didn't pick up his amiibo because I'm gonna have to get one anyway. <laughs> and who's this? Is this Dark Samus? A lot of people have speculated her, or it? Two? I, I, I don't know enough about Dark Samus. <laughs> but. Alright, so we got another Metroid rep. <laughs> we're, ju we're just missing, uh, you know, Donkey Kong has been kind of neglected. <laughs> but. This is cool. I, I'm just not looking forward to having to buy tro uh, Amiibo for all these Echo Fighters. <laughs> Ugh. He got his chance another day. You may have seen this coming. Both fighters have been highly requested. They're each slightly different than the fighters they're based on, so pick whoever you enjoy most. As you can see, depending on your settings, you can either display all Echo fighters separately on the oh, stack them. or stack them with the fighters they're based on. Okay, so if I stack the Echo Fighters, then to recreate the roster, I don't actually need to buy the Echo Fighter <laughs> Amiibo. More. Wow. 
so stay tuned. Even more. And here's stages, yeah. Great Bay. Oh, I'm, I love Great stages. Bay. We're mainly including returning favorites. Got our plane. Allow me to introduce some of the stages we haven't shown before. Is that a melee Pokemon Stadium? I love that one in melee. Garden of Hope. Peckish Aristocrab. Oh, Brinstar Depths is back. That one's really fun. That's cool to see back. Summit. Show me Pirate Ship and Fountain of Dreams. Those are the two stages I still want to see. Those are like my two after New Pork. Uh, Unova Pokemon League. I think we saw that in one of the character trailers, though. I love Magicant in HD. It's going to be so good. Gamer. Oh, that's the final destination. Wow. Looks pretty good. It... it <laughs> It's probably just because I just finished it, but it reminds me. New Donk City! I'm excited for that one. Mario Odyssey was so good. <laughs> the guy just floats in. Jump up super high, high up in the sky. There's no power up like dancing. Now that you're a superstar, no one else can take it this far. I'm flipping the switch. Get ready for this. Oh, let's do the Fountain of Dreams. Yes! Yes! That said, for stages that originally appeared in the Nintendo 64 game, we prioritize nostalgia, intentionally keeping the classic look. The stage total is turning out to be pretty impressive. Let's compare it to the totals in previous games. A hundred and three. Voila, one hundred and three. We must be crazy. If we exclude Battlefield, Final Destination, and Big Battlefield, we'd have Okay, so Big Battlefield is coming back too. But take a look at wow. the stage select screen. Ooh, so I like that style. Can also be transformed into both Battlefield and Omega form. So the total number of stages is 300. More than 300. Yeah. Oof. All of these stages can be played All of them? Player battles, and they are and all, available uh, all available. Oh, that's awesome. And stage hazard toggle. Toggle. You have yeah. the option to turn off stage hazard. When you're looking for a change of pace and don't want to be interrupted by hazards, select this option for a less chaotic experience. Chronological. Also, the order of the stages matches the order in which they were introduced in the series, just like the fighters. Regarding stages, we have a little surprise. What have you got Please for us? Take a look. That stage scared me as a kid. Wait, what's this? Wait, you can you check that out? Well, playing. Oh, wow, that's cool. But first, you must select the stage more. Oh, man, that's crazy. That'll be a lot of fun for like casual. Oh. I only two? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense, but But still, that's really cool. I like that a lot. And the music. For the player who wants it all. Oh, Splatoon my music. I need Metalopod. That's my favorite stage. Splatoon this theme. Feature is making a return. <laughs> Until now, each stage had its own set of music tracks. But this time, the tracks all are right, by, series. by series instead. For example, as long as you're playing on a stage based on the Legend of Zelda series. Oh, that's cool. I like that. The tracks included from that series. Now, oh no. Number of music tracks from stages. It's gonna be like 500. <laughs> 800! <laughs> oh wow. Oh wow. And if we count other types of music, 900. 
Then there's actually about wow. 900 compositions. If you played them all in a row without looping or stopping, there's more than 20. Someone's gonna put that on YouTube. 28 hours of Smash Bros. music. <laughs> are a big part of video game history, and the result is a massive library of memorable music. All Need some Xenoblade Chronicles 2 music. This it's too recent, unfortunately. Of course, there's a sound test menu as well. Oh man, the, the style looks really nice. What we can see, like of these like menus and everything. I like it. It's simple, but it looks good. It's like having an album for each series. If a track has no corresponding fighter or stage, or if it's from one title rather than a series, it can be found in the other section. You can create your own playlist too. Sort them in any order you like, anytime, as much as you want. Oh, that's cool. You can play music while the screen is turned off. It's kind of like I already put like Switch. tons of game music on my music device though, so A huge variety of music has been collected for the game and you can sample Man, some of these tracks. I've been listening to some of those songs. They're they're good. We're planning to add selections basically every week. Like uh I I don't know Metal Gear, but the Snake Eater remix they have there is so nice. Some of you may have experienced the game already. But I'd still like to show you some things about the multiplayer battle world. Now the first thing you will select is the rules. If you create your own rule set, you can immediately begin playing with those rules okay. at any time. So you can like save your rule sets, that's nice. In addition to time battle oh, wow. and stock battle, stamina battle is now treated as one of the standard smash modes. There's a different feeling of intensity in these battles. Stamina's fun for a change of pace. This time, stage selection comes before fighter selection. This way, you can pick a fighter based on how well suited they are for the stage. Or let the last battles... Oh, that's that's nice. It'll be good for tournaments. Uh, in sudden death, but me, I always play like the same five characters, so it doesn't matter. Zoom in. This creates a nice sense of urgency. Final Smash meter? Chargeable Final Smashes are now a selectable option. During a match, your Final Smash meter will fill, and then, once it's maxed out... Oh, a you weaker version. Final Smash. That's interesting. I wonder if they'll, if they'll try and incorporate that into tournaments. There's my boy Lucas. Things can get really flashy. If you're up for a now that it's, like, controllable and not a random thing, I wonder if... By the way... No two They'll try and incorporate that. No, no simultaneous games. smashes. That's smart. <laughs> what battle modes have we got? New battle modes. There are other additions to the battle modes too. Squad strike. We've added in squad strike. It's a five-on-five five or three-on-three three elimination-style battle to decide the winner. Each player will use five consecutive fighters in one battle. But it might be fun for more like players to take turns as well. We're also Tournament. including Good. tourney mode. Choose the number of players and CPU participants, and the game will automatically structure a tournament bracket. I like this uh, remix of the Up to theme. Thirty-two players can join the tournament, so it's great for parties too. Smashdown. We're adding a special smash mode called Smashdown. After a battle in this mode, the previously selected fighters will no longer oh. be available to use in the next battle. So each player must select That's a interesting. fighter. It definitely I'd suck at that. With multiple fighters. You could also strategically pick a fighter your opponent is good with before they can. The new training mode will feature an exclusive stage. We've displayed a grid cool. so it's easy to measure distance and more. Oh wow! Can also display launch I'm getting flashbacks to high school math class, which was not a fun time. At zero percent damage, and the blue line is for one hundred percent damage. The fighter's weight is factored in at the moment of impact. That's hurting my head. That's too technical for me. <laughs> the single-player mode, in which players battle against a series of fighters, will return classic. in the form of classic mode. 
I saw a rambling shroom on Kirby's head there. That's an Earthbound. Now, let me introduce you to some new items. Sweet. Pokemon and assist trophies will deconfirm some characters, so we'll know. We'll see some people's dreams get crushed, <laughs> unfortunately. We can't all be playable, unfortunately. Alright, so we got a banana gun. <laughs> That's cool. Killing Edge? Oh, we got a Fire Emblem weapon! Can we refine it into a slaying edge? The bomber was on the uh, website like two days ago, I think. Death Scythe? Oh wow. Auto KOs? <laughs> That's busted. Staff? What's the staff from? Is it just a unique item? Ramblin' Evil Mushroom from Earthbound! Rage Blaster? All right, we got Pokeballs. Alolan Executor, the memes! <laughs> Can we get Minior, please, Abra? Please, please put in Minior. I know Minior could never dream of becoming a fighter, but a Pokeball item Minior could do. Minior is my favorite Pokemon. So, so Galeo. And Lunala, yep. Give me an Ultra Beast, too. Mimikyu! I know a lot of people wanted Mimikyu playable, but it's cool to see it still represented in some way. Brutal. Pukumuku? That's fun. <laughs> Both Vulpixes? Vulpix is so cute. Marshadow? Ditto is finally here. Ditto was supposed to be in Melee. That's cool. I'm sad they didn't give it the, the meme Ditto face. Oh! there's That was Zero, wasn't it? We got a Sis Trophy, Zero. Knuckles. <laughs> Captain Knuckles. <laughs> Here to chuckle. Crystal. She was on one of the character trailers. Claptrap from DK? Cap'n! <laughs> He's just gonna run you over with a bus! Oh no, he, he takes you away. That's, that's funny. Chef Kawasaki. I think he was in the Kirby anime. I only watched a little bit of that. Okay, we got a Metal Gear guy. I don't have the slightest clue who that is. Nikki! She's from, uh, what is it, Swap Note? She's really cute. I like her character design. Shovel Knight! Oh my god, they got Shovel Knight in this! And I'm spitting. <laughs> and he dug up a chicken! The moon from Majora's Mask? <laughs> Not Skull Kid, just the moon. Yes! Maybe Skull Kid's playable now. I've got hope for my boy Skull Kid. And is that Ashley? Did they did they just casually deconfirm Ashley? They got Shovel Knight. Wow. I mean, he's not playable, but that's still amazing. Is that a Monster Hunter? Is that a, like what is it? Rathalos, I think. I don't know Monster Hunter. I want to get into it, but yeah, it's the Rathalos. I know the Rathalos. It's like the iconic one from the game. Monster Hunter looks a lot of fun. He appears as a boss. Oh wait, as a boss? And an assist trophy? So we've got a Monster Hunter stage? Actually, he's the first character to appear First in, in series history. So I think we've got a Monster Hunter stage then. And this is before we go, so this is the end. Before we go, I'd like us to take the main menu. Yes, main menu. please. That's not bad.
bad. And we got something blurred out, so they don't want us to know everything yet. As you can see, there's a mysterious mode here. But we can't talk about that. This, just it's yet. simple, but it looks nice. Also, there's a dashboard on the right side of the screen. This can be accessed at any time by pressing the ZR button. Options and control descriptions are listed here. Yeah, I think this this is this is good. That's all for today's announcement. The entire development team is putting all of their energy into finishing the game. So what? Wait, hold on. Until launch day. Thank you so Hold much on, that's not everything. What do we got? Is it... Are we getting King K. Roll? Or are they announcing a Donkey Kong Direct? <laughs> With a new Donkey Kong Direct? No, I think this is King K. Roll. He's here! Oh, oh my god, the troll! The troll! <laughs> oh, he's memeing on them so hard. But here's the real deal. Oh my goodness. That that troll, that fake out. King K. Rule. I've only played Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, but I know King K. Rule is just so heavily requested. It's great to see him here for the people who really wanted him. Oh man, there are people happy right now. And I love heavy characters. They're fun to play as. King K. Oh man, he's got like a counter in his gut. He looks like he'll be fun. Wow. Bravo! Wow! People are excited now, I can tell. Oh, they're actually gonna show it this time? Simon? Richter? My boy Crumb with Robin, of course! Dark Samus? And King K! Wow! I saw someone actually suggest that at the end of the direct they should show they should fade in whoever's new. I, I'm, it's really cool that they did that actually. Oh man, that was a great presentation. That, how many characters did we get? We got Simon and King K as newcomers, fully newcomers, and then we got three Echoes. We got five characters here. I mean, you can argue on Echoes, but still five. Characters. There's <laughs> five amiibo I gotta buy. <laughs> Send money <laughs> for amiibo. <laughs> but no, that that was exciting. Uh, I'm surprised we got that much. And they've still got more to show us closer to launch. Wow. And Shovel Knight. Wow. Uh, so that was exciting. I'm That was great. I, I can't believe they had that much to show us. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching and taking this journey with me. Until next time, this is Hoodie Angel Brandon signing out.